And today's video is all about the NRF 24L01. I have this two board of NRF 24L01 a long time ago, but I am not finding time to tinker with it. So today I decided to give it a try. So what is NRF 24L01? The NRF 24L01 is one of the cheapest radio transceiver module available in the market. The module uses the NRF 24L01 transceiver IC of Nordic Semiconductors, which operates in 2.4 GHz license-free ISM band. Transfer rate is from 250 kilobits per second to 2 megabits per second maximum. Transmission range is up to 100 meters in open area. Each NRF module could communicate up to six other NRF at the same time. The operating voltage is 1.9 to 3.6 volts, while the other pins are all 5 volt tolerant. To interface with this module, you need to use Serial Peripheral Interface or SPI Communication Protocol. In order to tinker with this module, we need a pair of circuits, which is for this uh, circuits that I prepared, this one is for node A, while the other one is for node B. I connect the NRF ground pin or pin 1 to Arduino Uno ground pin. Then connect the NRF BCC pin or pin 2 to Arduino Uno 3.3 volts. Do not use or do not connect the NRF BCC to 5 volts because you could damage or you might damage your NRF module. Number 3. Connect the NRF chip enable pin or pin 3 to Arduino Uno digital pin 9. Number 4. Connect the NRF chip select pin number 4 to Arduino Uno digital pin 8. Connect the NRF SPI pin or pin 5 to Arduino Uno digital pin 13. Number 6, connect the NRF MOSI pin or pin 6 to Arduino Uno digital pin 11. Connect the NRF MISO pin or pin 7 to Arduino Uno digital pin 12. I also connect the NRF interrupt pin or pin 8 to Arduino Uno digital pin 10, but we will not use it. I just want to connect it so that it will, so that the wire will not hang loosely. The circuit connection of the NRF to the Arduino Uno is the same to the other node, which is this one. I also connected an LED as an output and three tactile switches. So the LED is connected to A0. The three tactile switches are connected to a1, A2, and A3. And the other pin of the tactile switch is connected to the ground. So basically, we are configuring it as active low. And we use an internal pull-up of the Arduino Uno. On the node B, on the other node, which is this one, I use servo motor as an output. It is connected to digital pin 6, which is a PWM output. And also, a tactile switch in digital pin 5 as an input. With regards to the electrolytic capacitor, I have here a 16 volts, 47 microfarad. While on the other side, I use 10 volts, 100 microfarad. Be sure to properly connected it so this line the one with stripe should be connected in the ground while the other pin should be connected in the BCC because without this capacitor sometimes NRF will function and sometimes no it's got problematic so we need to put an electrolytic capacitor so now let us see how it works I can send a command from node B to node A. 
So I will control the state of this LED by pressing this uh, tactile switch. As you can see, it lights up when I press. To control the other node, from node A to node B, I use three tactile switches to control this servo motor. When no switch is being pressed, the angle of the servo motor is at zero degrees. Pressing this switch will rotate it to 60 degrees. Pressing the second will rotate it to 120 degrees. Pressing the third button will put it in 180 degrees. 180, this is 120, and this is 60. When you release, it will come back to zero. To demonstrate that it works bidirectional, I can press this one because when I release, it will turn off. So I will press this one, hold, and I will control this. As you can see, it's uh, transmitting and receiving at the same time. Now let me briefly discuss to you our source code. The Arduino sketch in the left is for the node A, which is this one, while the source code or the Arduino sketch in the right is for the node B. So basically, these are the source code. It's very short and it's very easy. Just be sure to add an electrolytic capacitor because that in that part I got some problems. That's the reason why I am sharing this. First, we include the necessary libraries which are the SPI and the RF24. While on the other side, we need to add a servo because we are going to use a servo motor. Then, we define the pin assignments for the LEDs and tactile switches, and also in the other side for the servo and the button. Then, we instantiate the RF24 radio as radio to pin 9 and 8 for the NRF chip enable and chip select. Same as in the other side. And in node B, we instantiate the servo motor as my servo. Next, in node A, these are the addresses we are going to use. So basically, this is for node A and this is for node B, same as here. Then, we declare some global variables. In the setup, we set the pin direction. We set the pin direction and we attach the servo motor. In the node A, as you can see, radio that begin, same as here, radio that begin. And here, open writing pipe. This is for the transmit. So who will receive this one? The address of node B. So what is the address we are going to use for the other direction of the communication, this one. And as you may notice, here and here, it's the opposite. The writing pipe here is the reading pipe here. While the reading pipe in node A is the writing pipe in node B. Next, we set the power level as minimum because we are using it in prototype and it's very near. Next, in node A, transmit to node B. In here, we will transmit the angle of the servo motor attached on the other side. So, according to the state of the tactile switches, which is this one, we are sending the uh, angle for the servo motor. Then, we write it so, we get the value, the angle, and we pass also the size of the 
variable angle. Next, we receive from node B. We delay for some time. We start listening to receive so that we can receive. So that we can transmit, we need to stop listening. When there is a data available in the radio, we read it and save it in the button state according to the size. And we write it in the LED. In the node B, receive from node A. In here, we will receive the angle sent from the other node and consequently write it in the servo connected. If the tactile switch is pressed, the angle will be transmitted to the other side and it will be written to the servo accordingly. So here, transmit to node A. In here, we will transmit the button state to the other node. So if we press this one, it will be written to the LED. Just like that. If we need to receive, we start listening. If we need to transmit, we should stop listening. Same as in the other side. That's all for now. I hope this could help you and you find this tutorial helpful. So if you have any question regarding this tutorial, be sure to write it in the comment box and I am happy to answer it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.